Lorient's phenomenal comeback win against Nancy last week had given them hope of surviving another season in Ligue 1. They face fellow relegation strugglers Caen, who had only picked up one point in their last three. The home side knew, however, that a defeat could condemn them to the drop. Bernard Cassoni's men should have opened the score after just five minutes, but were denied by an inspired Remy Vercourt. Benjamin Mukanta with a pinpoint cross for Majid Waris, but the Ghanaian shot just lacked power to beat the keeper. Vincent Legoff then played the ball on a platter for Mukanjo, but Lorient's top scorer completely missed the ball. Lorient already with two opportunities to score as the chances went begging. Still pushing for a goal and in complete control of the first half, Romain Philippoteau chances luck from range, but the Caen defence was there to clear. The breakthrough came on the half hour mark with the home side rightfully rewarded for all their attacking efforts. Mukanto gathered the ball, skipped past Alaidine Yahia and blasted past Vercoutre to give Lorient the advantage. The Cameroonians' 10th goal of the season. And nothing Vercoutre could do about that shot. Caen did have an opportunity to strike immediately before the end of the first half, but Benjamin Lecomte parried well from Jan Caramo. Lorient one goal up at half-time in a very attacking display. Caen operating mostly on the counter-attack but completely overwhelmed in those first 45 minutes. But the visitors came out in the second half, guns firing and Caramo was once again the detonator as he raced towards Lecomte. But the Lorient's keeper's timing was perfect to claim the ball at his feet. Four minutes after the restart, however, the home side were down to ten men after François Belougou brought down Jonathan de la Place. Last man, and therefore a clear red card. There can be no complaints about the foul. After 77 minutes, Caen threatened from a corner, but Damien da Silva's header was straight at Lecomte, who gathered well. Silva Marvo could have set on Lorient nerves as he raced through following Mukanjo's pass, but the former Newcastle man was unable to find the target, and Caen survived. With a man down, Lorient threatened on the counter-attack and man of the match, Mukanjo raced through unchallenged before being brought down by De Silva. And like Beluga before him, was shown the red card for the foul. Good and consistent refereeing. And once again, there can be no complaints. Lorient win back-to-back -back games for the first time this season and move off bottom place in Ligue 1 for the first time in five months. Can't stay out of the drop zone, but are now thrown into the relegation scrap.